Hey guys, it's Alternative Voice. You know, I've been watching a lot of stuff on uh, Facebook and YouTube. A lot of you guys seem to think that, you know, a civil war would be a joke because I see you posting all these memes, like a big fat guys with AR-15s or big or little skinny guys in black pajamas with, you know, sticks and um, making fun of the other side. Let me assure you, a conflict like this would not be easy for either side and it would not be funny for either side you know um we are if a civil war does start we are talking millions dead we are talking generations of dividing of division we are talking billions if not trillions of dollars of damage um no it would not we're talking about homeless people we're talking about a lot of people, homeless, refugees, dead, maimed, crippled for life. And it's like, you know, both of you, whether you lean right, whether you lean left, whether you be on the red team or the blue team, whatever you want to call it, I assure you it would not be fun at all. Because, I mean, for those of you who think this would be easy, you can watch my other videos about like why the right would win the Civil War or why the left would win the Civil War. You see, each side has its own advantages or disadvantages. I'm going to start with, I'm going to start by addressing the right wingers, the red team. You like to say that, you know, you have a whole bunch of guns and all that crap and all that shit and that you have men of good military fiber, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to be impartial here, and I will mention that again in this video, I guarantee it. But I promise you that the left has technology on its side. Eight of the ten most technologically advanced states are, in, are on the blue team. They also have a bigger population. And um, that's nothing to laugh at, my friends. And um, they also have control of the seven, of the US's seven shipyards all of the shipyards so that means that they can bottle up and they have control of the whole west coast that means that they can cut off the sea lanes and just like the anaconda plan in the civil war that winfield scott came up with it worked and um the and but i'm not done yet the blue team. If you're on the blue team, you might think, oh, look at those fat asses with their AR-15s and all that crap. And, uh, you know what? Not everybody on the red team is a fat ass. Some of them are highly trained spec ops guys. Some of them are really good competitive shooters. And believe me, you do not want to get into a gun battle with them. Uh, also, that brings me to my next point. The um, red te team has control of the oil. They, unsurprisingly, are in control of Texas, which c produces a shit ton of oil. And uh, you can't really move your war machine if you don't have fuel for it, no matter how advanced it is. Just ask the Wehrmacht. And um, you see... The thing is, is that we need to come together and start talking like reasonable human beings again, not like a bunch of idiots who think that, oh, it'll be easy, it'll be fun. It will not be easy, nor will it be fun. And I say this to everyone, you will have to go to the bathroom most, you will, off, you will probably find yourself having to go to the bathroom in a pot. There will be no indoor plumbing a lot of the times. There will be no Wi-Fi. You will have to live without Wi-Fi, and you will have to eat cold meals, which, believe me, will get old very quickly. You may, you will have to take a bath in cold water, or a shower in cold water, if you even get a shower or a bath. Um, and uh, just look at, like, how people lived in the Middle Ages or in antiquity. E that's what a lot of us will have to live like practically overnight as infrastructure gets destroyed and things like that, people will be starving and shit. It will not be pretty. And um, it 
would be very nasty. I mean, you would see your friends die, you'll see your family die, not just in combat, but of starvation, sickness, and a whole manner of other things. Accidents will be, will be more common, and I guarantee it. You know, it would just be a whole lot of unpleasantness. And uh, when it gets hot in the summer, you're probably going to have to live without air conditioning. And when it gets cold in the winter, you're going to have to deal without heating. And um, I could go on and on, but that's enough for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be good, y'all. Peace.